What's up guys, it's JP the install guy here. Hope to make your install life a little bit easier. Today we got a 2022 Hyundai Elantra and I'm gonna show you how to get these power wires through the firewall. This is the type of thing that you're into. Please consider subscribing because this is what we do here at this channel. Anything car audio install related, that's what we're about. And from time to time, I like to share my car audio knowledge. So if you're a beginner or advanced, this channel just might be for you. So y'all guys already know the deal. First thing we wanna do is find a plastic or rubber grommet where all the uh, wires are going through. This engine does look a bit congested as everything just kind of really, really small and tight fitted together. But turn on my light here and see if I can focus. There is our rubber grommet right there. That's where our wires are automatically going through the firewall. So we're gonna try that first. And I don't know if you can see, but there's a small little knockout towards the right side of that. So if for any reason we can't get any wires through the firewall here through that boot, then I'm pretty sure that that is a open space on the inside. And we're gonna check for that in a second. And that may be option number two. All right, so here we have that rubber grommet and since it's so close to us right here, there shouldn't be any reason why we won't be able to get that wire through that firewall. And just to show you, it, just in case if you didn't want to go through there, we're gonna pop that part up and right where that knockout is at is in the same shape of this right here. So if you did want to drill a hole and put a snap bushing through here in order to not go through there, you can. I have videos on other vehicles where we actually had to drill a hole through here and you Use a snap bushing so you can refer to that in the playlist uh we're gonna go ahead and go through this right here what i'm gonna do is take my box cutter and i want to make a small incision on the side you know i like going to the side first because i know that there are no wires on the side of the grommet just in the middle so we're gonna take that and cut a small hole be able to put my finger through that hole and I'm actually able to poke the side of the grommet going to the outer side that's actually in the engine uh, in the engine bay so I can feel the wires going down here in the middle and I'm gonna see if I can't take that box cutter and then make another incision on the inside that's that right there that middle that inside part that way i can take my wire pulling tool and then poke it straight through and up and then see what we can do from the engine bay i'm getting that wire in all right so now let's go ahead and see if we can stick this through i'm just sticking this through and i'm feeding it to the other side and this should be coming out somewhere in the engine bay and the reason i want to do all of my work on the inside on this vehicle is because they're going to be hard to try to do all of this type of work on the inside of the engine bay because this grommet is so far behind the engine i could barely get my hand done i can barely get my hand in there so what i want to do is try to do as much as i can from the inside seems like we got our wire tool about halfway through so we should be able to wrap that wire on the other side and be good as you can see again we are on the side of that grommet we have our wire pulling tool coming out right about here now what i'm going to end up doing is going down this way already mounted the actually fuse holders holder down here on the plastic side because now all i need to do is take this and snap it into place this part is going to mount right here and I'm gonna split loom all that type of stuff as well but that's actually mounted and secure and then I'm gonna wrap the rest of my four gauge wire up to here and then we're gonna just pull it straight through that grommet all right so as you can see we got that taped up use some of my Kent, uh, Kent automotive super slick dry lube god dog spray it on my dang finger And just so you don't see any red wires coming from that part going up there, we are going to split loom it. Now, one thing that you could do if you wanted to, you could split loom this thing and then zip tie it probably around the top along here. So nothing actually drops down to the floor. And then maybe bring it over the top of some of these wires and then come through the back side. Or if you can, pop this panel off and then come through the actually this part so it goes right here on the other side of that it just depends on your preference 
So as you can see, I got it loomed right there. We have a zip tie. We're going over some wires. And then we are coming down behind that panel. I only have it loomed up to right right here because this is the part that you'll actually see. And then we can go ahead and keep running our wire right along here. I went on ahead and tucked it up under this part and fed it through the back. Already taking the rear panels off as well. Uh, only thing you need to know is this seat is not hard to come off. So on this panel, uh, I just lifted the seat up. It's just held in by that one little uh, clip that's on the back of the, on the bottom of the seat right there. But uh, this panel is held in by clips and there's one screw right here. As soon as you take that screw out, everything else pops off. And then we're gonna kind of mimic the exact same thing. Speaker, uh, not speaker wire, I'm sorry, power wire coming right here. And we're gonna zip tie this along the factory wire and then I'm just gonna kind of make a little cross this way and then pull it up under the seat. And I got the amp mounted on the back of the seat so we're gonna pull our power wire through the back part there. And here we have the amp rack just kind of mounted in, used ferrules just to kind of make it clean. Now, if you guys want to know how to actually install an amplifier, I have plenty of videos showing you how to do anything amp related in the how to playlist. And uh, I will link all that stuff for you as well. But if you guys found any type of value in this video, please hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe, share, comment if you want to. I will have product links in the description on the things that I use to kind of make these installs look a little bit cleaner. And that Patreon link for whoever wants to be a furthermore supporter will be in the description as well. You guys go the extra mile supporting me in the channel. So I make sure I go the extra mile supporting you by giving you all type of wire colors for whatever vehicle that you may be working on. Also the behind the scenes footage and that's the platform that I'm using to give all my one-on-one -on -one, uh, training and help. So till next time, this is your boy JP signing out. Happy installing. Hope everybody has a blessed day.